Are you sick of spending hours on mundane tasks? Do you want to make things easier for yourself? ChatGPT could be a big help. In early December 2022, OpenAI made ChatGPT, which is a powerful system for artificial intelligence. It uses natural language processing to figure out what people are asking and come up with answers. The ChatGPT can be used by anyone on the OpenAI website. Just type in your question and ChatGPT will answer it for you. With this AI, you can automate boring tasks like scheduling, dealing with customers, and analyzing data. ChatGPT is a useful tool for many things like translating languages, teaching, making content, and making chatbots. ChatGPT can also be used to do things like answer questions and summarize text. It has the potential to be used in many different ways. As a tool for translating languages, it can translate conversations between people who speak different languages, making it easier for people who don't speak the same language to talk to each other. In education, it can make learning more personalized by making content and responses based on a student's progress and needs. In other words, ChatGPT can help you do your homework. For instance, if you wanted to write a poem or story for you, it can and it can write according to the information that you provide. This language model can make text for social media posts, news articles, and other written content too. This could save content creators time and effort. It can also help you fix errors in your work if you ask it to. For example, if you're a computer programmer and your codes aren't working properly, ChatGPT can help you figure out what the problem is by giving you a tailored response. And in customer service, it can generate answers to customer questions, freeing up human customer service agents to handle more complicated interactions. ChatGPT could be used to power chatbots for websites or messaging apps, generate responses to customer questions or complaints, translate customer questions or complaints from one language to another, or generate personalized responses based on a customer's history and preferences, allowing for more natural and human-like interactions with customers or users. But it's important to remember that ChatGPT is still just a machine and doesn't have the same skills or knowledge as a real person who works in customer service. ChatGPT does have some limitations, such as a lack of empathy, limited knowledge, a lack of creativity, and a reliance on data. For example, ChatGPT is a machine that can't feel emotions or have empathy. This makes it hard for it to fully understand the emotional needs of customers or meet them. Also, ChatGPT is trained on a large set of human written text, but it doesn't have the same knowledge or experiences as a human customer service agent, which can limit its ability to help or give advice on certain topics or in certain situations. It might not be able to think of creative or out-of-the-box solutions to customer problems either, and its answers are based on patterns and structures it has learned from its training data. This means it may not be able to give helpful answers or advice in situations that aren't in its training data. When using ChatGPT for customer service, it's important to keep these limitations in mind and add human customer service agents as needed. Nevertheless, the ChatGPT can be a great tool for speeding up the process of customer service. Using ChatGPT in customer service can improve efficiency, make it easier and faster for customers to get help, and make the whole customer experience better. Since ChatGPT is a powerful tool for natural language processing, it can also be used in various ways in the field of software engineering. Some possible uses are finishing code, making documentation, fixing bugs, designing user interfaces, and giving technical support. For example, 
ChatGPT could be used to generate code suggestions or completions based on a partial code snippet or user input, create documentation for code libraries or API reference guides, suggest fixes for code bugs based on error messages or user input, generate suggestions for user interface design based on user input or examples, or power a chatbot for technical support. This language model is a great tool that can also be used when you work as a freelancer online. Some possible uses are writing content, translating written content, helping customers, analyzing data, giving technical support, and working as a virtual assistant. For example, ChatGPT could be used to create written content for websites, social media posts, and other types of content, translate written content from one language to another, power a chatbot for customer service or technical support, or act as a virtual assistant for tasks like scheduling and email management. In fact, this tool can be used in a number of ways to help with scheduling. Some possible uses include making suggestions for meeting times, appointment times, event dates and times, task due dates and times, and virtual help with scheduling tasks or appointments. Meeting times could be suggested using ChatGPT based on the availability of attendees. Appointment times could be suggested using the availability of service providers and the preferences of customers. Event dates and times could be suggested using ChatGPT based on the availability of venues and attendees. Task due dates and times could be suggested using priorities and deadlines. And ChatGPT could even be used to power a virtual assistant that can help with scheduling and coordinating. Multiple tasks. ChatGPT can also be used in a number of ways to help with data analysis. Some possible uses include making descriptions or captions for data visualizations, finding and fixing errors or inconsistencies in data sets, making summaries of data sets or analysis results, making insights or recommendations based on analysis results, and doing text analysis on large sets of text data. ChatGPT could be used to create descriptions or captions for data visualizations to help users understand and interpret the data. It could also be used to find and fix errors or inconsistencies in data sets to save time and effort for data analysts. It could also be used to create summaries of data sets or analysis results to make it easy for users to understand the key findings. So, what do you think? Based on its capabilities, would you say that this AI would be useful for us or just unnecessary? Share your insights in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more amazing content about AI and robotics. See you at the next one.